Howdy, everyone. Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas. And today we're going to talk about chemical formula types. In this lesson, you'll discover structural formulas, molecular formulas, empirical formulas, and formula units. You'll need a periodic table, of course, possibly your polyatomic ion sheet. So what is a chemical formula? A chemical formula is a symbolic representation of a chemical compound. Examples are KMNO4, H2O2, and NH3, which is potassium permanganate, peroxide, and ammonia. Let's look at the anatomy of a chemical formula. Here we have 2CaF2. The Ca and the F are for calcium and fluorine. And that tells us it's calcium fluoride. We have the 2 there, the subscript that tells us the number of atoms. And there are 2 atoms of fluorine and 1 of uh, calcium. We don't write 1's just like you don't write 1's in algebra with, like, with the X. And then we have the two that's the coefficient. And of course, the coefficient tells us the number of units, whether it be molecules or formula units. It tells us how many there are. Uh, it can also be used to tell us how many moles there are in stoichiometry. There are three types of formulas. We have the molecular formula, the empirical formula, and the structural formula. We also have formula units for ionic compounds. The molecular formula is the formula of one molecule. An example would be H2O, CH4, and SO2, which is water, methane, and sulfur dioxide. An empirical formula would be the simplest ratio of the atoms in a compound. Now this tells us the simplest ratio. It's a reduced ratio of the uh, elements in a compound. So if we have something like C2H6, it would uh, be reduced to CH3 because two uh, would go into both of those. So kind of like reducing a fraction. Then we have our structural formula, which shows the geometric shape of a molecule. And so here would be ammonia and here would be water. So those are geometric shapes, very uh, useful. And uh, the more you can put in a little bit of your artistic ability into drawing your molecules, the better. But what about ionic compounds? Ionic compounds turn out to be crystalline solids described by formula units. And a formula unit is the simplest form of an ionic compound. Ionic compounds don't make molecules and they are crystalline uh, solids that uh, make basic shapes and uh, really don't have a molecule. So we don't say molecule with ionic compounds. We say formula unit. And the formula unit would be something like sodium chloride and iron three oxide or uh, calcium hydroxide. These are all ionic compounds and they make crystals uh, because of the very strong ionic compounds. And there are three basic types of crystals. You have the simple cubic and you have the body centered cubic and you have the face centered cubic and these are the basic uh, repeating patterns that will happen in a crystal because a crystal is just a geometric shape repeated over and over and over and these are your three basics there are a few uh, more complicated forms but let's get started with these and understand that ionic compounds are crystalline all right so let's wrap it up You've looked at a chemical formula and its anatomy. You've looked at a molecular formula, which applies to covalent compounds. Then we have the empirical formula, which is just the simplest ratio, which by the way, if you didn't notice, a formula unit is the empirical formula of ionic compound. Then we have the structural formula and a formula units for ionic compounds. As usual, if you have any questions, Send an email to Mr. Causey at MrCausey.com and check out uh, MrCauseysWorld.com. Look at the PowerPoint videos and much, much more. And if you subscribe to uh, my YouTube channel, 
uh, you'll be able to uh, stay on top of all the different things uh, that I happen to be working on. All right, happy odds, everyone.